I'm finally going into the Elder Dark Aether and getting some of the classified schematics solo. At least, I really hope so. Now, this being my first time going into the Elder Dark Aether, of course I'm going to be using the meta guns at the moment, which are the Akimbo Tears. And of course I have a Legendary Aether Tool and a Triple Pack of Punch Crystal. We've got some perks that we can drink here, and of course Golden Armor Plates. Oh wow, isn't that lucky? We did Casimir right off the bat. But really what most of this game is going to be is going to be jumping right into Tier 3 and grinding out points so we can get as many Casimir as we can. Another Casimir in a chest. Isn't that lovely? Another Casimir and a self revive. Let's go. Oh my goodness, we found another Casimir just looting. We have four already. Fun fact I just learned, you can have two reward rifts open at the same time if you do them fast enough. Didn't know that. Gonna have to buy all my perks here real quick. That wasn't as many perks as I thought I needed. Very nice. And genuinely, we're pretty close to getting geared up here. I do want maybe eight or ten total Casimirs, but we still got a half an hour to grind this stuff out, so... We're making great time. And what do you know? I found another self-revive, so I think three self-revives should be good. I hear a big guy coming around the corner. This doesn't make me happy. Hi, buddy. How you doing, Abomination? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That Abomination is not good. But he is good for points, so I appreciate that. Well, with that Abomination, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Casimirs now with all the points that I had. I don't think I even need to do that last contract. I didn't know I'd get set up this quickly. This is pretty freaking awesome. Somebody made fun of me for saying that I loot in tier three and try to find good stuff that way, but I'm telling you, there's good loot here in tier three. Maybe not through the contracts or anything, but like just in these buildings here, yeah, it's pretty darn good. So now here's the point where I disappoint everybody. <laughs> you might be thinking, Donuts, why have you taken so long to go into the Dark Aether on your channel, especially the Elder Dark Aether, right? Well, first of all, I got sick this week. Week, so that kind of pushed everything far back. Oh man, Elder Sigil, here we go. Oh boy. But second of all, I really wanted to do all of this solo. And unfortunately, I just don't think I can. Now, luckily, there is a new strategy with the VR11, which was really amazing to figure out. But I've grinded a couple of these things, a couple games here, and I just can't find the VR-11. It's just so random. I've even gone to the trouble of actually fighting the Act 4 Worm solo and actually defeating him. For now, we're going to stick to what we know and stick to what is usually feasible, and that is going to be just completing the first two contracts. Now, if you don't know the way this works, these schematics are indeed guaranteed. However, they do so pretty creatively, if you ask me. Instead of tying specific contracts to specific schematics, they do the order of schematics. So the first contract that you do will get you the, oh boy, the mega abominations right there. Uh, uh oh. So the first contract you do, there's so many bosses in here right now. Oh man. The first contract you do is going to get you the dog bone schematic. The second contract you do is going to give you the golden armor plates, which is the one I'm really after here. Oh, look at this. There's not many people up here. That's pretty good. We'll just get this aether extractor. Hopefully this guy doesn't kill me. And very good. Can we run away? Look at that. We're chill. And then the third and final schematic gets you, of course, the aether or ether knife, ether blade, whatever it's called, which is honestly really cool. But unfortunately, to do all three, you're going to need to do the escort, which is just not feasible solo without the VR-11. And as you guys know, I tried to get the VR-11, couldn't quite get it. So fortunately, not going to happen this video. But we can at least get the golden armor plates and the dog bone, which should help out when we do eventually go for that escort contract solo. But right now, we're making great time on this. Oh, where's my keyboard? Okay, there you go. <laughs> we're making great time on this contract here. We're just going to throw a little one right here. That should be good. This is a lot less difficult than people make it out to be, honestly. And this is like one of my favorite additions to Modern Warfare 3 zombies, honestly. This little challenge area, super, super fun. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. I'm gonna throw another one of these guys. Ooh, and we're gonna really try hard. I'm gonna put another one on the bar real quick here, if I can, thank you. You could take your time if you're only doing the two. If you're doing the three, you need to like really hurry up and whatnot. But here we are, dog bone recipe, another elder sigil, and there's another dog bone, which I think I'm gonna grab and use right away. Oh man, there's so many enemies. Get away! I might go down here, that's okay. I think people forget that you can actually shoot the zombies in this tier three area because this is not tier four, this is not tier five. 
It's just tier three zombies. It's perfectly fine. And just like that, it's a little bit calmer. We're going to activate that dog bone. Really cool. Death perception, napalm burst. It's amazing loot over here. But look at this mangler. He's going to go down super fast. Oh, that's so great. All right. Where is the next thing? We got to go do the outlast contract. And that is going to be with the bus, which is going to be over here. Very good. Let's do this guy. I really do wish that these con. Uh, well, first of all, I wish there was more contracts in here. And then I wish these contracts respawn so you can have even better loot. Now, this dog is going to be really helpful because this is actually going to be a pretty chaotic uh, challenge right here. So let's go ahead and get this activated here. I love that you can spin around in this. It's like Black Ops 3. Oh, hello. Hello. There we go. All right. Nice and easy. I like to close the doors because sometimes that slows down the uh, the zombies. This outlast contract really like lulls me into a sense of comfort because I'm like, oh, we're already like a third of the way through and I really haven't encountered any... Uh, uh, resistance, but um, towards the latter half. Oh, look, that's definitely a wonder weapon in there. Oh, I wish I knew where that key was. You know what? I'm not even going to chance it. We've got all of these Casimirs. Let's use them. I don't think that one used. I don't think that one used. That's cheap. That's not good. We're just going in a circle, training stuff, training stuff, throwing stuff. It's all good. We're going to throw a Molotov down. Oh, we're, we're solid. We're solid. We're Gucci. I don't think I've ever used that word in my life before until just now. They're going, they're all going after my dog. That's crazy. They're all going after my dog. Get off my dog. Um, I think I found a glitch here. We got a hundred percent boys. We did it. <laughs> but, uh, I really think they're really distracted by my dog here, and uh, I'm honestly okay with it. I'm going to throw one of these down. Hopefully it works this time. Thank you. I'll kill that. I'll put this on my bar so that I have room for the uh, golden armor plate plans. Ooh, another purple aether tool. I'll take that instead of a self revive, and then I'll take this aether blade case instead of this, and then I'll take this elder sigil instead of this. I think I dropped something important. No, I didn't. Sweet. Now all we need to do, uh, obviously, well, honestly, the escort only takes like five minutes. So you can see, even with me taking my time and getting all of the stuff at the end of this, there's plenty of time to do all of your contracts here. So you don't need to worry, but I'm making out like a bandit here. I got these plans, those recipes, that, that elder sigil, two, uh, purple ether tools. I'm going to cut my losses here. Beautiful people. That is how you absolutely look. We're, we're chilling up here. We're chilling up here, man. I wish I had the VR 11 to be so cool. And I'm not going to lie. I thought this video would have way more drama than it did, but I've heard a lot of people. Let this be a testament to all the people who are saying, oh my goodness, Modern Warfare 3 Zombies solo is impossible. Literally, I have two of the strongest schematics and you saw barely even sweated. Like not even like this is so underwhelming. We're just uh, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Legitimately, though, that was really fun. I really enjoyed the grinding in tier three to get this item to go to this even special area to get this even specialer thing. I really like how this progression is laid out here in Modern Warfare 3. But if you are looking for a video with a little bit more drama, a little bit more fun, then be sure to check out this one and stay beautiful. Thank you